So what makes OKR special and why do they work so well? Today most companies operate in an environment of uncertainty and rapid change and this fast evolution of technology has impacted almost every industry and to survive and adapt companies really need to be flexible. OKRs allow companies to create agile goals and instead of using annual static planning OKRs take an agile approach by using shorter goal cycles, companies are able to adapt and respond to changes. And in fact, OKRs recognize that strategy and tactics have different natural tempos since the latter tends to change much faster. And to solve this, OKRs adopt different rhythms. So a strategic cadence with high level, longer term OKRs can be used for the company, that's usually annual. And a tactical cadence can be set with shorter term OKRs for the teams, uh, which is usually quarterly. And companies also use operational cadences for tracking results and initiatives, uh, usually on a weekly basis. And another reason that OKRs have been so successful is that they really advocate transparency. Because the primary purpose of an OKR is to create alignment in the organization. And to do this, OKRs are made public at all levels of the company. That is, everyone has access to everyone else's OKRs, all the way from the CEO of the company down to the intern who may just have joined yesterday. And one of the natural benefits of transparency is that it allows companies to rethink how they align their goals. In a traditional top-down approach to goal setting, goals are set from above and then they sort of cascade down the chain of command. And this traditional top-down cascading model takes too much time and does not really add value. And that is why OKRs do not really cascade. OKRs instead use a market-based approach that is simultaneously bottom-up and top-down. And it does this through complete goal transparency. The company sets the strategic goals and shares them for everyone to see. And each team should then use the strategic OKRs to draft their own tactical OKRs. And then the lower level goals are then made visible to everyone. And so tactical OKRs are constantly reviewed and updated to ensure that they align with the larger company strategy as well as to the goals of other teams. And this model really improves engagement while creating a better understanding of the strategy and it makes the process simpler and faster than having to cascade goals up and down the chain of command. Another reason that OKRs do so well is that they are decoupled from rewards. And separating OKRs from compensation and promotions is crucial to enable ambitious goal setting. And so OKRs are viewed more as a management tool than an employee evaluation tool. And finally, the adoption of OKRs is not viewed as an event, but rather a journey. As in any cultural transformation, change does not happen overnight, but it is possible to modify the company's dynamics in a few months, aligning and engaging teams. And we'll cover this in more detail later on when we get into implementation and the practical sections of this course. Let's take a moment to quickly recap what we've covered in this lesson. OKRs are an effective goal setting framework for many companies today because most companies today operate in an environment of uncertainty and change. And OKRs allow companies to achieve goal alignment through the use of different tempos for goals at an annual, quarterly, and weekly level. And OKRs also rely on complete goal transparency at all levels of the company, which in turn allows goals to be synchronized, not in a traditional top-down approach, but in a more market-based, as-needed approach. And finally, OKRs are intentionally not tied to compensation to allow people to free themselves to aim higher and the adoption of OKRs is often achieved through a phased approach that allows for time for the cultural and behavioral change that is needed at all levels of the companies for OKRs to succeed. Okay, in the next lesson, we will look at the origin of OKRs and check out some of the companies using them. See you soon. Mm -hmm.